We are going to start our session. This session is related with city standards, an indicator spreading smart cities. We have uh, four speakers in this room from different countries. One from Amsterdam in Holland, another from China, Biju, one Biju, uh, Washington Tavares from Brazil, and Suhono Harso from Indonesia, Kathleen Gayas from Amsterdam as well. My name is Carlos Gazen. Uh, I have been working with indicators for nearly 25 years. Uh, I am in charge of the ISO 18091, uh, the first standard in relation with local governments worldwide. And, and well, the issue of uh, standards, it's a very important point in relation with smart cities. We are going to listen, experience from different countries related with these issues. And in this way, we are going to start with Catalin Gayas and his rich experience uh, in relation with this field. Please. Good morning. Um, it's my pleasure to be here today. Uh, my name is Katalin Gajas. Uh, I'm um, actually a business developer and I have my uh, company uh, Civic Tech Amsterdam. And what I'm doing is actually helping uh, high potential uh, tech startups to get uh, funding and um, actually uh, having um, EU funds, but also seed funding. Uh, and recently I started to um, yeah, also talk to venture capitalists because I noticed there is a very important layer, um, the tech society, and I try to help them to actually enter the government and make better digital services. Um, and I'm also, so I, before I was working in the city of Amsterdam, chief technology office, um, and I was very much involved in um, open data movement, interoperability, open source uh, mobile applications. And um, I'm here today to present Open Agile Smart Cities. Um, which is actually a, um, a network, a European network, but it's now also global, uh, advocating interoperability and standards. And I'm also involved here in the task force. So what is Open Agile Smart City? Um, what we discovered, um, and also it's very important um, um, motive uh, that cities has to work together uh, to uh, in, in enhance the digital uh, single market. Um, one city is not a market, why not? Because um, if we think about just the uh, open data publishing portals, it doesn't make sense that a city is purchasing and buying it uh, on, its, on its own because it's just um, too expensive and uh, you can miss the technology because technology is very disruptive. Um, um, and we try to mitigate, try to help cities to work as a node to share knowledge and uh, share knowledge about standards, about interoperability, about uh, data formats. So this is the key motive in open agile smart cities. Um, when we talk about smart cities, uh, I noticed the last um, five years there is a huge reshift. What is the role of the city, local um, city administration? We shouldn't uh, actually produce and advocate solutions. Um, the city should be much more as an enabler, as a platform. Very often we just have to monitor what is outside there uh, and the technology. Um, we don't have to actually um, 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 come up with solutions, ready-made solutions. It's much more important that we um, have some uh, standards and we can uh, talk about it with the cities. Uh, so how did we start Open Agile Smart Cities and, and why we start? Um, um, I was involved in many European projects that are actually helping cities to publish data. Um, and um, one of the key motives was to start this Open Agile Smart Cities, that how to sustain the results of the European projects uh, um, that are actually making new platforms, uh, open data movement. And um, so this is how we started 2015, January was announced. Um, and we try to help cities uh, to have common APIs, to share um, data in a common way, and uh, to have the same data models. It's very important to train the cities uh, that uh, use the same format and um, try to exchange information on that. And um, so interoperability is one of the key motives in Open Agile Smart Cities, how to teach cities uh, to share uh, solutions. Um, 
So, as I mentioned, the Open Agile Smart City is very much about the digital single market. And what is this digital single market? We try to help developers, actually, uh, uh, when we have a common data platform um, that we share APIs, for example, between Helsinki and Amsterdam uh, about transportation, and to help developers to access these this, um, uh, data sets. It's a global initiative now, but it was born in uh, uh, Brussels, so it's a very European thing, but now we spinned out. We have uh, contacts from um, uh, Mumbai to uh, China, and um, we got lots of uh, interest. Um, how do we work? Um, it's always driven by the city. We invite city administrations to enter the Open Agile Smart Cities because we want to help them to actually procure better, to come up with better solutions, and not to buy things so fastly. Um, and there are um, three mechanisms in the Open Agile Smart Cities, and one of them is uh, to share APIs, and the second one is to help to the cities to work with CCAN. CCAN is a very um, uh, exciting, beautiful way of um, um, publishing your data in a, a repository. And the third one is how to work with standards. Um, if you want to enter um, Open Agile Smart Cities, uh, you need to have two cities at least uh, per country. And we asked the two cities, uh, city administration, to write a letter of intent that you are actually supporting this movement on interoperability and standards, and you can enter. And our aim is to train the cities um, to share the solutions. And we work with maturity levels. We see how many APIs you have, how far are you with standardization. And we have three levels of this maturity. And our aim is if you enter from, for example, for China, um, uh, we measure that which maturity level are you in Open and Gio Smart Cities. And in two years, we can train you. Um, and um, OK. Um, yeah, we have a task force. The task force um, is a forum. So I'm actually speaking also on behalf of Jarmo Eskelian, the CIO from Forum Virium from Helsinki. Um, so the task force, um, um, what this task force is doing, um, we try to uh, talk to cities that would like to enter. We try to give them instructions how to enter the Open Agile Smart Cities. And we actually collect information about standardization. Um, um, yeah. How we started, we have the first wave, 16th March 2015, we had then already back then 31 cities uh, from seven countries that already signed up for the Open Agile Smart Cities. Um, and that was very impressive, very impressive to uh, see this support. And then the second wave, when we also invited cities that would you like to join the Open Agile Smart Cities, um, September, we already had 61 cities from 12 countries supporting Open Agile Smart Cities. So you see there is a rising demand to join and to, to join this intelligence network on uh, open data and standardization. Right now, yesterday, I was also very impressed. Uh, Martin Brinskop, um, the chair, was um, saying we have seven, 75 cities already signed up for the Open Agile Smart Cities. I've never seen such a velocity in smart city network that can grow so uh, fastly. And 15 countries are supporting us at this moment. Uh, so it's like um, really uh, impressive. Uh, these are the cities that signed up the letter of intent. Um, Scotland, um, Bosnia, Herzegovina, and what I enjoy very much in this journey, that you see that each city has very different angle uh, why they would like to uh, join. Sarajevo joined, for example, because they have very nice hacker movements, developers, because at the end, we, we, we not necessarily just want to work with standards. Standards are dead without users, and we would like to uh, activate developers and, of course, um, um, make a movement in the market and make business out of it and also bring best solutions for the city administrations and for citizens. So I, I really enjoy this journey. And um, um, the Netherlands has also a very special focus on data publishing platforms. We try to share the same data publishing platform between five cities. So to me, that's a really nice uh, case for interoperability. Um, and who are the stakeholders in Open Agile Smart Cities? We start with cities to enter. We ask the cities to sign up. Uh, then a national uh, network of cities. And then international city networks. And then at the end, 
projects and organizations. Uh, so you have to imagine like that uh, cities enter, but at the end, we, we not just need the cities, we need also the ecosystem around, we need business, we need uh, startups, we need also industry, big industry um, uh, players, IBM, Intel, we don't exclude them. We say uh, we want to work together, but we want to see how can you enhance interoperability between cities. And uh, that's very exciting uh, to see that there are many levels uh, how to work in Open Agile Smart Cities. Um, so what are we doing in Open Agile Smart Cities? Uh, we give technical support to cities because there are many questions around. So questions that we get, uh, which kind of standards shall I implement? If I choose BSI, how much does it cost to me to label the data? Um, and we analyze um, this kind of, what kind of standards are out there? Uh, ISO and uh, BSI, CSI, and what is fitting the best to the city's needs. Up until now, this kind of advice didn't exist on the market, um, um, such a non-proprietary way that our city is supporting this. So that's uh, so imp important. We also give for the cities help on networking, which network they should be joining. Um, there are many exciting networks, Open Data Institute in London, uh, Open Government Partnership, um, global organizations, and we are very well linked with these uh, transparency uh, organizations. And we try to help cities to understand uh, how they can um, join and what is the most meaningful network to join. Fundraising, uh, we wouldn't be any very if we wouldn't have money to do this kind of things. So um, it's very important to see um, uh, how to um, actually generate money out of it and also for this network uh, that we have sustainability. We don't evaporate, we want to stay uh, the coming two, three years and help cities to navigate them in the open data world. And currently we work with angel uh, investors. So you, it's very impressive to see that cities like um, um, Tampera uh, is investing, um, uh, Seppo is sitting there uh, from the Open Giant Smart City also, and it's um, very nice to see that we have angel investors from cities and they give resources to start to set up the Open Agile Smart Cities. Um, and I must say, I never really see, I never really seen such a big um, voluntary movement around something. Um, this is our action plan. Um, so, as I mentioned, we started this year, January. Uh, we are currently consolidating. Um, we try to make, um, okay, who are the supporters? Uh, also, from industry side, to see who are behind us. Um, of course, the European Commission is still our most important um, supporter. Um, and I expect that uh, 2017, we will have a legal entity, and we will have office, and we will have employees, and it will be a very uh, vibrant living organization to help interoperability and um, yeah, the best uh, open data solutions for cities. Um, it's very important when you leave this room to remember that it's digital single market. This is what we want to support with Open Agile Smart Cities and standards and interoperability that you can uh, uh, plug into smart solutions between cities. Um, yeah, it's uh, the most important thing today. What kind of, um, um, actually, what kind of um, standards we are uh, analyzing. Um, so, this is um, actually just to show that we really want to focus also on uh, businesses and uh, to help app developers to have the best uh, infrastructure when they build uh, smart city apps. Um, yeah, these are the standards. We are currently are actually listing, uh, making, making an analysis what kind of standards are out there and uh, how can we help cities to understand what it means if you want to implement and you want to commit. Uh, we are talking with the uh, BSI, um, British Standardization Institution, and we are very well linked with um, all kinds of European standards initiatives. And at the end, why are we doing that? Because we want to help cities to have a very smart public procurement strategy. Um, yeah, so I think that it's very important to emphasize that cities have to collaborate, uh, loosely coupled, uh, depending on what kind of needs you have, uh, uh, either it's open data, cloud services, uh, we must help them to find this fitting. And this fitting can be through standards, it can be through common pro procurement. Um, because um, at the end, we don't want to have um, uh, this uh, yeah, interdependency. So as I rem mentioned that, um, we have uh, different levels in Open Child Smart City, city, nation, and world. Um, 
and Organicit is a very important European project that is also actually emphasizing interoperability and helps cities to uh, create solutions um, uh, that are uh, demonstrating interoperability. Uh, and we also want to influence procurement, as I mentioned. We want cities to procure sm more smart uh, in the coming uh, period. And we also launch projects. So we will have operations. We will have pipeline projects. We will have uh, five cities um, that are having the same data publishing platform, for example, and that will be our um, user case. So if you follow us, I think next year we will have already some um, con very concrete uh, operations on interoperability. So this was Open Agile Smart Cities. Uh, if you have any questions later, um, just come to me. Thanks for your attention. Great. Thank you, Kathleen. Uh, if uh, we can allow three questions, um, if any of you have one, please go to the microphone and, and ask uh, directly to our uh, speaker. Well, uh, one issue here, very important, is the view of integrality, which is one of the new tendencies in relation with how to abort the issue of indicators. And well, in that case, we are going to go with our next speaker, who is Wang Biyu. Wang Biyu is from the Chinese Society for Urban Studies the National Smart City Joint Lab. Please. OK. Uh, thank you, Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, I come from China uh, Central Government. I'm working for the Ministry of Housing Urban Real Development. So my main job is the policy research and the standards and international conditionship, and also I working for ISO, just like the lady said, ISO TC2680, uh, I see one as a vice chair. We're all talking about uh, the smart city infrastructure, some indicator system we were talking about, uh, also working for IEC and ITUT. So now, uh, today we want to do the two things that to report here. Uh, one is the, in China, how to the, say the smart city. Uh, our ministry and the other central government, we were studying the, some pilot city project. In fact, in China, we have 500 cities to join the pilot city for the smart city project. We were introduced to some uh, that, that we are real job, really job to uh, about you. And secondly, we were talking about uh, what is the city group, the smart city group. So you just like the city network. So we had two topics about this today. Uh, at the firstly, uh, I want to say the smart city is uh, not, is as I thinking, is not so new world. From 10 years ago, we were talking about the digital city. And some maybe five years ago, we were intelligent city. And now we were taught the smart city. But smart, smart in, in, in Chinese, smart is very, very deeply means the, the word. So we will talk about the, what is smart. Maybe next time is the future city. And just like Microsoft said, the city next. Maybe the IBM said the smart planned and maybe the happiest smart city, happy, the happiest city. So uh, I, I researched the three years, uh, through those three years, so we are comparing with the foreign smart city and in China, we are talking about the difference in China is from our central government and the local government is top down. At first, we will do the master planning for the city and our country, our national country policy, how to do the smart, smart city. And uh, uh, as I know, the EU, com the EU country and America, maybe the Japan, some the maybe bottom up some of the different system, for example, ITS, for example, the city security, maybe the, the hospital education to do the different system, the bottom up, make a smart city. So in China, we were published that the, just like this, uh, I showed you the national new type urbanization planning 2020, 2015 and 2020. So it's our the main central government to do how to do the smart city. The three means, uh, the first day is green city. 
So just like I said, smart city is not our goal. It's just the tools to do. Our goal is the eco city, the, the eco, the low carbon, uh, sustainable. It's the city, the future. So smart is just uh, the tools. We can use the sensor, you can use internet technology and some of the new innovation technology to do, help our country, help our government, uh, industry, uh, citizens to do, make quality up. It is main. And secondly, we call it a smart city. That what is indicated smart city, including maybe including the fourth parts. The one is the infrastructure. Secondly, the city building and living. And the third is the public service. And certainly in finance, investment and investment. It's we are talking about in China. So we have the many, we are the big country, so we have the many different the ministry. For example, I come from the first one, the Ministry of Housing Urban Rural Development. My ministry's main job is urban planning, city building, city management, and city operation. So we are focusing, we think the smart city is not just ICT. It's including the water system, transportation system, energy system, and ICT also is the infrastructure. Uh, and the different ministry, we call it uh, the Ministry of Industry and the Information Technology also published some of the policy, uh, start the, pol the pilot project in China, uh, and also the different area for transportation, so security and education. We have the many, many the national projects so it is our project in Mahard, in our ministry. From those uh, two, uh, 20, uh, 12, three years ago, we started the Smart City project. It's just like this map. Uh, so you know, the, I, I talk about it's not just the city for Beijing, Shanghai, Nanjing, the maybe the including maybe small town, direct, maybe the new zone, the industry park, and the district, maybe community in China. Uh, as you know, we, uh, we call it the town, but uh, it's also maybe the two, 200,000 people in, the, in, the, in this town. It's just like the EU, the, we call it maybe the city, the big city. So uh, it is uh, three years ago, uh, we started the firstly pilot city project. You can see that near the sea, some of the different, for example, in, in Guangzhou, near the Guangzhou, Zhuhai. So it is it's the very high level economically and uh, the high level inf in information systems is good as the highway area. And then of course, the nearing the Shanghai. Okay, to the secondly, we also end the 103, uh, 112 city also joined this, uh, our project. It's the Saturday. So the many, many uh, city, including the, so we will do the database uh, the through after this year, five years after this five years, we were central government, we were, and the local government, we were pushed the money, maybe one, 1.500 the billion IMB to do the smart city. It's not just ICT, maybe including the, just like I said, industry park and the water system and the security system, maybe the, uh, the, the city security. So it, it is also, we are including the eight. So next, how to do uh, from this year, we are thinking about uh, uh, top down. So we were the smart city group. So next topic I want to that what is the smart city group? It's just like uh, maybe EU, uh, you you have the different uh, the city the start the smart city. But in China we were near the Shanghai, near the Beijing, and near the Guangzhou. We have the many, many, many the city groups. How to do to do it? And it's very difficult to do the big city to how to do the smart. For example, in Beijing. The, from the Olympic 2008, uh, we called it a very, very big project, Smart Beijing. But as you know, in Beijing, it's just uh, the traffic of PM25 and every the, 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 the problems. The, so in fact, in China, our smart city is one to the, the key word, the key problem is urbanization. As you know, the, every year, we just the urbanizing rate is no, last year is the 45 percentage. And in the EU and American and the, the, the developed country, you have the 70 percentage. So every year 
we have the many, many people, maybe 200, the, 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 the 12 or, or 13 people, 13,000 million people from the country moved our central city. So they need water, energy, electric, of course, education and the housing. So they need, we will clear these things. But in Shanghai, in Beijing, we cannot c clear everything and also we may not good. It is the city problems. The, for we can, how to do it? So we were focusing the small area, for example, the smart community. It's just maybe the one, one thousand building the community. We can do the sharing the data and the do the sharing the different systems. And also the new park. So for example, we have the very, uh, the EU and China, we had Echo Smart City project. We were make a connection ship with the EU and the, uh, Singapore and the different country, all the countries to do it. The new park is not so the large square. And also the, we call it the micro city. It's just uh, to maybe the one or two kilometer square area you can make by the work, you can find the coffee shop, you can find the hotel, you can find the movie room, you can find the, the working now, and you also sharing the, sharing the, the, the transportation and the recycle the water and the sharing the different resource. So in China, we are talking about one is the city group, and then and the first focusing the small area is the community, the new park, and the smart micro city. So what is the target? The target is called economical developing and the social justice and the beautiful the environment. It is our the target. But well, I just like I said, the smart city is not is not ta target. It's just the tools to do something. So secondly, smart city group. So in China, just uh, this map, we have the 32 urban uh, and the city group. It's just uh, like in the near the Guangzhou, near the Shanghai, near the Peking around, and the Xinjiang. And also, if you know, uh, the China map is very, very big. And secondly, it's not just China. So we will uh, talk about one bit, one node. It, it's my, my president, uh, the president Xi Jinping said it is. So as you know, so we will make a con connection ship with the Indian. So as you know, Indian is started the 100 pilot city project. So without the, we need the, the, the foreign country, the big company, we have made good cooperation with the IBM, Seiko China, and the Hitachi China, and also the Microsoft China. And now in our local big company, ZTE, Huawei, and I of the Stones, and big company also the make our good model applications to, to the outside zeroing the one board and the one node. So we will do the things. So of course, uh, our presentation is the standardness and indicate system also is very important. So uh, I said the smart city, just one city, we are goals apply design by the new technological innovation technology and the city group, we were their growth, their foreign customs, it is the, our the target. So, it is I just like to see we have had uh, ministry published the, the smart city project. We can see this map. We will do the for example in Shanghai we have the the the, the, the twenty cities joined our pilot city. So we have the many many city resources to do it. So what, what why why do the city group? Well, I talk about it. You cannot cut the hard connection with city and the city, the highway, the water, the telecom, and the, 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 the right, the fiber. And the software connection, for example, the people, the people can live in Shanghai, Shanghai is the largest city, it's not so good the condition for me, is maybe the, to the next, the small cities are very happy. So you cannot cut, you cannot, the, 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 the people, the citizen moving, and the investment and the information, so we need the, the, the tools, uh, need the concept to do the smart city group. So also I, I published the different area and the, the uh, Changjiang is near the Shanghai and also the Pia River, the data the near the Hong Kong, it's the, called the Guangzhou Foshan and some the Zhuhai, the territory. 
is also the middle of the, the city. Okay, this one is the city, smart city project in around the world. So I also working for ISO TC two six eight every year. I, I maybe the five or six times fly to EU American to talk about the, the smart city project with the different country exposed. For for example, the the EU I, I don't know the the, the the for example the Stockholm the Hammarby the the very very beautiful the urban planning for the Hammarby, it's called the ECO, the smart city. And in the London, we call it ITS and the, the, the hills. And the last month, I fly to Amsterdam to with the, the, the Draft Technological University with exposed to talk about the smart logistic we are learning now. And also in Singapore, the smart government and uh, the Japan, the Tokyo, the Kitakyushu, and the Kyoto, and maybe the Yokohama also is the good. But I cannot uh, the talk about uh, the, the, the America. America people, uh, maybe after three years ago, they cannot do smart city. But no, from this year, so they are talking about the, the, the Washington DC and the Chicago and the Seattle. It's also the published the smart city project. It is the left is the, our smart city project and uh, the left is the round of the road. This point is just like stars, but this picture is from the ISO TC26. My partner, Patricia, uh, Professor Patricia, it published this, and just uh, you can see our, this, the China. <laughs> so, so many, many chance, many, many marketing to do it. So that's the one. Uh, uh, just uh, we started three years ago, our ministry started a project. Uh, we made a different area, make a joint lab, a smart city joint lab. For example, we with the Microsoft China, so Microsoft China to do the city next, it called it solutions. And also with the Hitachi, we are focusing the infrastructure, the hammers, the the, the management for the difference for water gas system and energy system. And with the firstly, uh, we call it Bei, uh, Beidu. Beidu, maybe you know the Google in China. It's Google, China Google. We are focusing on big data and the city operation. And also as a company, the ZTE is carrier. The secondly, big company carrier. So ZTE, we are focusing on city security. And uh, of course, the Huawei, uh, it's the dawn is for the GIS and the CUSIC, just like Ch China NASA. The, they are make the LBS system, it's just like GPS, uh, just like making GPS, we call the compass system. And also, uh, we make the, the uh, media and some different. We are, those joint labs, we were focusing the standards and the models for the smart city, the different, the what infrastructure, maybe health, maybe housing, maybe green building, maybe some ICT technology. So uh, if you time to fly to, to Beijing and China, I can show you our research results. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, thank you for your uh, presentation. It was very interesting. Uh, my name is Sui Weinstein. I'm from Israel, a very small village in China. Uh, we are only 8.2 million inhabitants. Um, you mentioned on one side uh, many things that you are doing with the notion of uh, smart cities. And you also mentioned on the other side some problems because you cannot uh, cope with a city, let's say, I don't know, 50 or maybe 40 million uh, inhabitants to make the city at once or in a process a smart one. I want to ask you something that is related to that. Uh, is the Chinese government as, um, let's say, um, policy, ur urban policy, not to uh, make the city or let people do the movement from the country to the cities or to arrange something else to make, let's say, the country more smarter. <laughs> smarter yeah. Right. 
Thank you for right. your questions. You understand the, the, the Chinese the really condition. So uh, as in China, so uh, the, our central government, the policy is the make the different things. Uh, we have to face the problem with the big city in Shanghai, in Beijing. Just the, for example, I come from the Beijing. And the urban planning, we were sent the the second cycle and the three cycle and the first cycle, maybe no, it's the sixth cycle. It's do the urban planning to the from the country to from the the city to the country. So country people, how to do move in our thing? You need the job chance. You need the whole thing. Maybe they need the the some some the health the condition education condition. So our central government wanted to do the local urbanization. Those people just living in the country, but we were to the central town. The central town, maybe the, 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 the 10,000 people, or maybe the 20,000 people to do here. And the, near the country, we need the satellite city. That's a satellite city, the one, two, three, and the satellite city. Uh, but the problem is the, how to do the industry, how to do use the young people, the cannot leave this the town, this leave the country, they have the chance to maybe to leave the, the, the flight, the, the move to, to central, central country. So our policy in, the, uh, in, in China, we were called it the local urbanization. Local urbanization is the policy, so we want to do it. Maybe the next five planning, the national planning, we will do it. Maybe cannot answer the question. If, but it is a smart. We, we call it just the ICT, make the data center, maybe the monitoring system is not. It's we will do, we will clear the problem. So urbanization, so in China, it's in fact. Thank you. Another question? Please. Here, in the mic microphone. I have a good voice. <laughs> wow. So, um, it's about execution. You're concerned about the uh, smart city group. Yeah. Uh, I did it in connection with uh, also the interoperability. Uh, what about standardization of, uh, let's say, applications, data collection? Uh, is that very relevant in your model? Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, um, the smart city, I, I think the, uh, the very, very big things is the clear the problem, the city problem, the urbanization problems. But in fact, very small things that use the ICT is data. It's city data. We can sharing the different area, different cities, the data. So we are proposal the local city make the data center for support the different government, the, different development of local government, for example, urban planning, the policy system, education system, to use the data, the sharing. But just the one city sharing this data is not so good as airing the city group, the city group. So in our ministry, we will start as the international, just the ISO TC26 at uh, uh, working group three, we will do smart city data sharing and the data model. So, in fact, in, in China, maybe we are same nature, same language, same policy to do it. Maybe it's easy to, to do it. But last month, I've, I had to talk about in Holland, in some of the exports. How about in EU? We have the Leon, we have the Pali, we have the Noma, we have the, the different, the, just like China, the schools, how to do the sharing of the data. We will maybe we can talk about after this, we will talk about EU exports to, to, to talk about the standards. But in fact, it's the data. The data, how to use the data, operation the data, and get the data. We will talk about the big data, but our mayor, our local government there, told to me, it's not the big data. We know data. We know data. We have no money to do get the data to our data center, so we have no money. So you cannot talk about IBM, uh, Microsoft. You can talk about the about the big data center. So we will do step by step, make the standards. The stand is very important, also indicator system. Thank you. Well, thank you. Uh, after this impressive presentation, we are going to hear the experience of Brazil with Washington Tavares. Thank you. Hello. 
better. Uh, morning, thank you to be here. Uh, I would like to present to you how we can start this. It's here. I would like to talk a little bit about some experiences that you have in Brazil, but also uh, to talk about uh, what we are doing inside Team Forum in terms of standardization, in terms of help the process of transformation to a smart city. Um, I am Washington, I am the CTO of Tessida. Uh, we have been working with Team Forum for two years, um, and uh, we start to, to get all the concepts and all the knowledge that we have, uh, uh, we are applying in the, for the, uh, for the telecom telecommunication segment for years and reusing this uh, under the, 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 the perspective of smart cities. Uh, we believe that the intelligence in the smart cities are not just sensors, are not just, just the technology, as my friend said. Uh, 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 the intelligence should, should be uh, get all these ecosystem, technology, uh, strategies, and transform the life of the citizen. Uh, yesterday I had a, a, conver a very good conversation, and a guy said, "How we, uh, uh, the guy said, how, do you know how I define a smart city? Ask to the citizen if they are happy. If they were happy, the, there is a smart city. So uh, what we have done there, um, this is a very summary in one slide about all the concepts. But the idea here is to have a step-by-step -step guide to guide the, trans the, the, the process of transformation. As you see here, each city has their own needs, their own perspectives, their own problems, their own context. So you have to have a way to create the vision and to establish the roadmap to, to, to do that transformation. In order to check and figure out what we will Real, real generate value to the seeds. Secondly, you have to have a digital ecosystem. You have to have uh, um, uh, uh, companies uh, prepared to deliver this, the, the right solution to the city. And how we can make the open data strategy, how we can make the interoperability, how we can make uh, um, the interchange of information. You have to have a platform to handle that information based on open APIs, based on uh, uh, we can't reinvent the wheel. Uh, we, can't, uh, we need to get all the initiatives around the world and put at the same ta table and say, let's use this, let's use that, this is good, this is not. So the idea of the Enable platform and the Data Mart is about this. It's about to uh, provide a plug and play ecosystem uh, that turns the city capable to do what they need to do. And at the end, uh, what um, uh, we are um, proposing the utilization of smart indicators. When we talk about smart indicators, normally we try to define or try to figure out about a static list. So what are the core indicators? Uh, I strongly believe, believe that this is a, a mistake. We can have some references. Uh, you can have some... Uh, uh, points to make benchmarks and things like that. But in order to measure the real value, in order to check if it, that is, uh, initiative uh, uh, is right or not, you have to have, each city have to have their own smart indicator. So the idea is to make a composition between the, 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 the information about the city, the context, the, the context about the users, the value proposition itself, the expected results, of that initiative and the solutions indicators. And with this, and based on what already is in terms of normatization, like uh, ISO 37, uh, one, two, whoa, and also the City Protocol Society, just, one, just two examples that we have been using, uh, you can get the data, put context on that data, you have information, and then you can have what we are calling actionable intelligence. What do I will do with that data? What do I will do with that information? And based on this, we can start to make the data interchange between the cities. Uh, I will bring here two cases. Uh, we do not have too much time to talk about this, so I will summarize a little bit. Um, there is a very, very, very small city. When my friend from China said that they are working with the small groups, uh, I remember uh, our projects in Brazil, because we are trying to start uh, with a solution set, let's say, 
uh, call it smart place. So we get a small region or a small place inside a big city and start to deploy the technologies and start to deploy the concepts in order to figure out if the city is ready, if the, the, if the concepts will work and things like that. The Nagua de São Pedro was a case that is running for one and a half year uh, and we had there uh, some uh, um, different value propositions, folks in health, folks in education, folks in um, security. And uh, based on the, 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 the experience that we had there and using some correlated indicators, so we get information from different sources to make the correlation, we have uh, very good results. For example, uh, for those who know Brazil, this, People will understand exactly what we are doing, uh, what I am saying. Um, there was people going out from the private schools and asking to be, to join in the, the public schools. This is completely impossible in Brazil, but it happened there. Uh, with very simple solutions, with very simple uh, uh, actions, we changed the way how the, how the, the citizens see the, 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 the public education inside the city. Uh, we changed also the way how they um, make the health attendance. We improved a lot the way how the city managed, the government managed the cities using that information. Uh, another example is um, a very similar project, but applied in another city. The first one, Aguas de São Pedro, is a tourist city. So they have their own needs and their own objectives. Itatiba is a city uh, 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 is a industrial, not so industrial, but uh, um, uh, it's a commercial city. So the people there doesn't uh, care too much about the tourism. They, they just want to live well with their families. And uh, so there we start to change the public spaces and, trans uh, uh, and implement there um, uh, more information, uh, ways to communicate with, with the citizen and had very good results also. So the city today is uh, checking and saying that they can, with low investment, promote very good entertainment, public parks, space and things like that. Uh, at the end, uh, I would like to say some key impacts that uh, what our methodology or toward what our standards are delivering. One of these, them is uh, we can deliver an intelligent ecosystem. Using these concepts, we can deliver an, an intelligent uh, ecosystem. Uh, using this concept, we will be right that the CD needs and the CD's problems will be solved. Based on this, we will have the result validation. Uh, it's common to see around the world uh, questions like, what are the results? What were the, the benefits or what are the, the, the consequences of some, some, some initiatives? We can measure this using this concept. Uh, and at the end, as I said, you have the, a way to provide interoperability and a, a way to create benchmarks. To finalize, I would like to uh, bring here a very, very uh, brand new uh, note C that we are inside the forum start uh, to make some liaisons with the other institutions, the other groups, uh, in order to create a maturity model and be, a maturity and benchmark, a benchmark model for the cities. So, a, a, a new, a new, a new project. I would like to invite all of you to join us, um, and we are getting all the the best practices around the world. Uh, we are connected, connect connecting with all of them and starting to create this, this, this project. Also, we, we have some catalysts that explore some concepts and has solved, tried to solve some, some problems of city, for, for cities. And also, we create a think tank groups in, uh, in order to talk with all of, of these groups. So that's it. I try to be fast. It's a lot of content. So if you have questions or want, to be, want more details, please reach me. Wow. Thank you to Washington Tavares from Brazil. Any questions? Please. Yeah, it was very interesting. Um, I wonder 
um, what about uh, real citizen uh, participation or engagement in your uh, project? Uh, when you started your uh, lecture, it seems to me that it comes from top down. And I'm looking for the bottom up uh, participation. Very good question. Uh, I try to avoid to talk about this topic under the, the presentation because uh, we can spend hours and hours talking about this. But um, we strong we know that in China it's a little uh, it's quite f easy to create top down initiatives. Am I correct? Yes. yes. But uh, <laughs> I know that you are sure also uh, that we are. Um, trying to engage the citizens, trying to get the citizens into that initiative, try to involve them to generate the value. Uh, we try um, to help the cities to create a mix. There are some solutions that uh, you have to do top down. For example, uh, in Brazil we have a um, uh, regulatory change that uh, passed to the city the responsibility to take care about the public lighting until last year was uh, the, 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 the companies that provide energy was responsible to this. So this is a top-down uh, situation when the city have to have a way uh, to learn and to use the technology and to get out the operation, blah, 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 blah. But this, is the, this, this, uh, uh, this situation is, generated, is generated, generating lots of opportunities in Brazil because Brazil is uh, waking up about the smart cities concept because of this, this change, the regulatory changes. But, yeah? It's also important. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, we strongly believe that, for example, in smart places that we are talking, we are talking directly with, with the population. We are talking about plazas, parks, and things like that, or in a tourist city when we directly involve the, 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 the population. Uh, and. Uh, uh, the strategy that we are using is try to bring some gamification, try to uh, create techniques, use techniques of engagement in order to uh, communicate to the, to the citizen what are the, the results and the benefits, what we are doing, what they can do with the new services. In Intachiba, for example, they just started a new um, self-services for open companies. And... Um, we are using all these infrastructure and all the our mobile apps to communicate and send information and say, so there is a new service, go use that. And uh, um, also we are, they, they are providing uh, um, bonuses for people that engage with the, the technology and with the, 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 the services and things like that. So there are, uh, uh, we, we cannot do just top, top down or bottom up approach. We have to have a way to mix the situations based on the, the city needs and the city characteristics and, and so on. Right. Another question? Well, thank you, Washington. Sure. And well, we are going to listen Professor uh, Dr. Suhono Supangat from the Institute for Innovation and Entrepre Entrepreneurship Development from yeah. Bandung Technology Institute, Indonesia. Please, Professor. Yeah. Thank you, Oscar. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's my gratitude to share together to discuss about the smart city, especially for the situation as an indicator and standard. In this session, I would like to share about the, why we talking about the indicators, why we talking about the uh, smart city development. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, Indonesia is in the Southeast Asia. It's uh, the population is about the 250 millions and the uh, islands. Uh, country with uh, 17 islands and uh, about 525 uh, municipality and cities and uh, it seems with the trend in the world the urbanization is my problem now the population 
in the world, more than 50% stay in the city. Also in Indonesia, now more than 50, more than 60 also stay in uh, cities. So there's a problem with demand and supply. The city problems uh, is also in uh, Asia. Yeah, for your information, last April, uh, we organized Asia-Africa Smart City Summit in Bandung that the problem in city is uh, similar, the urbanization and gap between demand and supply. The first, because uh, on the demand of the transportation and the uh, capacity, like in a street, river, water, energy, etc., is the problem. So we must consider how to make efficiently, how to manage the capacity, existing capacity, so that we still serve the citizen. So uh, based on our observation uh, in uh, some country, we try to define we try to start with the, what is a smart city? Smart city, not city with the ICT. Smart people, not just people with ICT. But smart city is a city which can manage its resources, natural and human, efficiently and effectively in order to achieve high livability, comfort, and sustainable development. However, because on the complexity on, uh, yes, uh, we need uh, ICT. So we must uh, in the uh, proper mindset. So uh, we try to uh, develop a system with the first in a sensing. Yes, as in the previous uh, presenter that the uh, smart city not just a sensor, not just an ICT, but also understand what is the problem in the cities, what is the potential, what is the capacity of the city, and then how to act, how to act, make a, a, a action so that the citizen still comfort, still secure, still safe and sustainable development. So this is my, uh, in our uh, basic development using sensing, understanding, and acting. And ICT could, uh, can assist in the sensing. The ICT using artificial intelligence, using uh, machine learning, assist the people, assist the stakeholders, assist the smire, a system of uh, my city to understand what is the problem of the city. And then, as also uh, with the previous uh, presenters, that the vision and also how to make a good uh, orchestra between the city office, stakeholder, make the smart city becoming uh, doable. In my country, especially from the, from the my institute, st start from the three years ago, set up with the smart city model. And ICT is only one of the enablers, but we try to push, or we try to make a triple enabler, governance, people, and technology as a basic as a basic enabler for the smart city. And then with three dimension, the first dimension is uh, economy for the sustainable development. Include people, include marketplace, include incubation, include uh, everything that support for the smart economy. And the second dimension is the smart society for the security, for the transportation, for the public service, 
and also for the uh, health, etc., to make a welfare for the society. And the third dimension we consider for the sustainability, also green city or environment uh, problem. In the smart economy, we consider what is the uh, uh, availability of the center for the economic growth, like incubator, like uh, center for the uh, yes, uh, industry development. And then the second sub-indicators is uh, education. How to train, how to make a uh, situation uh, ready to push the economic in the city. Also, he considered what is industry itself. What kind of in the industry proper in the cities? Creative industry, service industry, or another industry? Using the seamless integration, ICT, people, and governance, and also resources. And the second is the smart society. To consider the security is uh, important for the city. And also health, healthy city, secure city, safe city is in, uh, as a part of the smart city. And then also public services and also social interaction between the society. The next indicator is smart environments. How to secure our environment using proper energy, CO2, renewable energy, how to make energy, how to use energy efficiently, and also how to use the public space use properly. The other is uh, environment like an, uh, waste management and also water management. This is my, our first version in Indonesia smart city model. And also we have an, uh, we, we publish smart city maturity model. So, why the city could uh, as a smart? So, uh, we uh, we propose with the five level of the smart city. The first level is uh, yes, it's only just uh, ad hoc. Yeah, I need, I I want my city is as becoming smart. But what are you doing? The second level of the city based on the journey to the smart city is an uh, uh, initiative. The city have a planning. The city prepare for the grand design with the discipline project, with the discipline prioritization. And the second level of the smart city development is, level is a sketcher with a good prioritization in the transportation or in health or in education. And the fourth, is integrative integration between the component in the city, between the sector in the city. City is system of system. So how to connect between the resources in the city and the capacity? And then how to increase the capacity, both in the service and also the, sorry, in the server. And the final is optimization, the smart city. This year, with uh, Delhi in Indonesia, we done we have done a smart city index with the 98 cities that we measure with this model. In Indonesia, an average of the level of the city still in a scatter and integrative. In the early in integrative, if the integration is XT to uh, 60 to 80 and the smart is 80 to 100. The uh, position is in a 50 or 55 or 60. And then previous discussion is about the indicators. But the next we try to share what is the implementation with the platform. 
like in the previous presentation, talk about the standardization, interoperability. This we try also make uh, uh, this uh, or uh, standardization and interoperability between sector, sector transport, sector health, and etc. This is one uh, our example in this year and last year uh, experiences the Garuda Smart City Maturity implementation with the special uh, nine cities and also the total for uh, 98 cities in Indonesia because we focusing in the first step in the cities, not a municipality. And the city we, we divided into uh, megapolitan or metropolitan like in Jakarta is, uh, is different with the Bandung, Surabaya as a, a city mayor uh, organization. This is an example of our Garuda Smart City Maturity Model. The score is uh, near 50. The scatters try to set up but not yet to integrate. This is very uh, problem in culture because our, uh, competition in the sector, competition in the bureaucratic is also uh, so we need commitment for the city leaders to integrate seamless integration. This is our ex, uh, vice president that opened and closed for the Smart City Index in Indonesia last August. And uh, the, the need after indicator, we need the interoperability and also for the standardization in, uh, in sensing, in understanding, in acting. But every city have uh, differences in a problem and challenges and also potential. In sensor, CCTV, crowdsource, etc. is also city analytic and GIS and what is the platform in the smart city make uh, interoperability and also uh, many application that uh, support for the smart city. This is our one of the example in uh, this year is also uh, set up uh, operation room or with a command room or war room. This the name is a, but we call it as operation room as a room to operate the city. This is a one of the city in Indonesia in Bogor that uh, set up by uh, the, uh, collaboration my university and telecom uh, cell uh, in uh, developing Bogor smart city. Yeah, we have some many research that are now in, in under discussion and also uh, intro, uh, make a standardization for the smart education, smart transport, smart health, smart payment, smart commerce. And in a university now also with the Open Innovation Lab as a living lab to, uh, to measure the indicator fit uh, with the parameterization or not. This is my uh, open innovation lab. This is an uh, example for transform for data to, to becoming uh, knowledge and actionable for the city. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much for Dr. Suhono Supangat. Uh, any question? One question, two questions. That's it, because we need to finish right now. Please, the uh, microphone is there. Uh, why? Yeah. Please. Thank, thank you for your uh, presentation. It was very interesting. I wonder to uh, what extent all these uh, um, applications and the very nice and detailed uh, model is accepted by uh, the citizens of the cities, to what extent they are using it and make the changes that you expect them to be. Can you, can, can you ask again? Can, can you, you ask, ask again? again, please? Oh, I'm, I cannot. Ah, uh, your mic. Okay. Um, your model is um, very nice, very good. I mean, uh, I think that most of the city all over the world are using more or less um, very, um, very much the same uh, models. But I wonder, you are a, like China and Brazil, um, a very big. Uh, country, to what extent this model is accepted by 
local inhabitants in the cities that you are working. Okay, thank you. Yes, this is uh, because uh, in also in law in Indonesia is autonomous between city, city, and then this is government, central government, and the province. So, uh, in my uh, uh, work now is uh, how to make uh, 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 synergy with uh, each uh, central government, and then we also invite many uh, mayor and also uh, many uh, developer in the city, our local government, to set together. And then interactively, we improve it here. What is the parameters? Is this enough or no? So based on the uh, feedback from the local government, we try to improve these uh, indicators in our standard system. It's not so easy because every local government compete with another government. This is uh, naturally. This is uh, very difficult to make uniform. But every city have a, a different challenges, different problem. How to make a creativity city? This is our uh, our objective. Not make a uniform in at all, but based on the potential city and challenges of the city, we try to set up the generic indicators. And the main goal is how to make the society and the citizen become secure, safe, and sustained. This is our object. Thank you for your comment. Okay. The last question. Right, please. <laughs> Thanks. So I have a question. It was very interesting to see the maturity model that you created and the scoring that you did afterwards. My question is, how was this scoring developed? What are you scoring? So what's underneath it? What are the drivers for that score to, to be made? Okay, thank you. Another? Well, that, that was, it's a double question, it's just one, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you get... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we collect with the uh, ex expert people from the, the many sectors, like an uh, urban city and uh, transportation and energy, how to make wage so that we can normalization mm -hmm. between the, what is the prioritization in each city, and then using the uh, Delphi method to collect the expert's judgment so that we, we can make with what is the uh, main uh, issue, what is the main challenge in the city development, in transportation or in uh, health or in education or somewhere like that. So then we can make uh, normalization and then we can make calculation from 0 to 10, uh, 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80, and then 80 to 100 as well, every levelings. In the, our first um, method to make a maturity model. Were all cities, I mean, they are willing to be sharing that information and to be scored and be seen ranked yes, yes, against course. another? Based on our cal uh, calculation, based on our uh, indexing, measuring, then we can re recommend make a recommendation for each city. You, if you want to uh, increase your uh, level, then you must uh, do these activities. For example, for the uh, economic or in the social or in the water or in energy. Mm -hmm. So we can make a, what is an ideal condition and then this year in the, this condition and the one this condition for the objective, you could with the path, like in the presentation. What is the vision of the city, and then what is the, your potential, and how to invite the in, uh, private to in, involve in the development for the ideal, ideal city. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome. Well, thank you very much for your attendance to this meeting, to this uh, room. Thank you for the speakers. It's a very interesting, very impressive, and just one idea to finalize this session. The challenge is how to make politically viable the technical indispensable, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, well, this is a question that we need to answer with this model. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you for your assistance. <laughs>